Welcome here, my name is Rio and I'm going to be speaking with Noel about how our season's going and we're going to have a talk about the juniors and what's happening on and off the pitch. Noah, it's been a massive season, there's been a lot of planning going on, you and the committee have been doing so much incredible work, tell us a little bit about it. Um, yeah, I guess it started in summer when we had our five-a-side competition, um, we pulled a lot of good numbers, we had over 70 junior kids um, and that was just unheard of in this town and um, having been here since a kid it's awesome to see the, cl uh, the club develop and um, see that pull especially after the Matildas last year as well. Um, so we had the five-a-side competition we also trialled Omega Ball which was a new um, format of playing the game with three goals on a circular pitch um, and from that summer competition that we had, we gained a pretty strong following um, leading into the season. So it was a fairly seamless transition. Um, for a lot of the players, it's like they've had another season and we've really seen the skills develop and just skyrocket over the last few months. So it's been really amazing to be a part of as well. No, it's been excellent. And obviously that first night here at Dudley Cornell, what have we had? We had the girls going on here. We had the women's. We had the juniors over there, we had also the seniors after, and it was all double digits. How good was that? It was amazing. Um, yeah, as I said, like having been here for so long, it's just, it's so good to see the club thriving and to, um, to service the community in such a way, providing this game is, it's so much more than a game. And it's just amazing to, um, to see families, friends of friends, all that sort of stuff brothers, sisters, parents getting involved. It's yeah. um, it's a really great vibe here and where um, I know for, for myself, I'm over the moon. No, it is terrific. And we got to saw that in action over the weekend when we played um, Stall over there. We had four four games going on. We had, wow, it was an incredible day, wasn't it? We had play people everywhere. Tell us about that because I loved it. Well, we won't talk about the results. Don't um, about the results. We don't worry about the results. <laughs> Free season, of course. Um, we obviously didn't win those, but it really wasn't about that. It was about giving the juniors in particular and for the seniors as well, match experience. It's something that we've really lacked and um, having not been in a competitive format for the last few years with juniors, I think the last competitive junior team we had was 2019. Mm -hmm. um, so to have such a massive gap there, it means we have to we have to build bridges, we have to start yep. being more competitive, we have to start going up against other teams mm -hmm. and Stall, um, massive credit to them, they put on an amazing day and um, it was great experience for everyone involved and yeah, like you said, it was so good to see um, yeah. players, parents uh, committing to that um, drive down the Western Highway. It's not an easy thing to do but um, it's what makes it possible. It does and I think... Um, it's something I didn't realise until the after the end of the game was how many players, both from under 10s all the way to seniors, was their first time on a full side pitch or first time ever having a run. Like that was incredible and that blew me and that's something I had to realise. But yeah, tell us about that from your perspective, someone who's been here since he was a little kid, to see people coming who have never played and now they're playing the game for the first time as adults as well. It's surreal. It's... Um I don't know, like words escape me trying to think about it. We've had, you know, people in their 40s putting on a jersey for the first time in their life and it's like, I just want more people to be like them, you know. It's what, uh, there's nothing stopping adults from having a crack. There's nothing stopping kids from having a crack and I think it's awesome to have people that are leading by example in the club and being such good role models for the younger ones coming through as well. And... Um, yeah, it was, it was amazing. And to see a lot of the, you know, under 10 sticking right to the seniors to have a watch is, mm. it's the kind of culture we want in the club. It's, you know, seniors looking out for the juniors, juniors looking out yeah. for the seniors. Almost brings a tear to your eye, but um, look, it's early days and it's, it's the path we want to be on and it's going to be a big season. So thank you for following up and we'll be speaking with the club and different people around as we go on. Thanks. Thank you.